Right then, welcome back. Today we are doing the Sophisticated Italians. Five races in this one to get the Chuono 1100 V4 factory. The things I would do to that motorcycle. Anyway, we digress. French Riviera overtakes on one of the most beautiful bikes ever made, the MV Augusta F4 750. Nicer than a Ducati 916? Mm, I think so, but it's not a twin. So all the heathens out there who don't like inline four cylinder bikes won't like it. But overtake challenge on my least favourite track and yeah, pretty straightforward this one. Job done. Job done. See, even the AI hates the track for enough at the end. Despise that place. Not a nice, not a nice track at all. Next up, Donington. Four. A five lapper on another MV. It's a bit of an MV Augusta show this. The MV Augusta F3675. So, three cylinder sports bike and this one was a struggle um, mainly due to me making daft mistakes uh, but we uh, we persevered so we went back we changed the settings we had a little bit of a play and then the AI decided they were going to make life difficult not entirely sure where he was going, but he made it around the corner just fine. And then, typical AI, I go near him, they change the line, and we're off, and we're eating grass again. So, we go again, and third time lucky, as usually seems to be the way.
you didn't think it was going to be as simple as five laps to get the lead going, done. You know that doesn't happen. So, four laps in, three second lead, down the crane of curves, I decide that getting off is a good idea, and we're down in third, we've got a lap and a half left. This was close, this was really close. just we had a, a little penalty only half a second at the end but that is two down yes two down two golds 40 percent of the way there race three my favorite track probably my favorite track utah motorsports campus and we're on the mv rvs Essentially, is it a dragster? I think it's a dragster, isn't it? Just or a drag star that's just been played with. I do like the the skull on the number plate. That's a nice touch. And this was this was difficult, really difficult. Laura Aniston was very, very, very fast, very fast indeed. It was hard work chasing her down.
what we do is we run a little bit wide out of the first is it the first corner yeah out of the first corner the bike doesn't quite come back across as fast as I want and we're off I thought I'd carry on see if I could chase the gap down it was quite a big one and it just pushing too hard bang off we get let's go again slight change to the bike it was it was putting a lot of stress through the front tire so we just did a little bit of a change and this one this one went all right done three down that's a nice little track I don't I don't recall racing on that one before I may well have done but it was a long time ago but that I quite like that layout I prefer that than the the opposite end which I'm assuming is the west course race four Sugo now this let us use one of the bikes I've really been looking forward to getting on and that was the Brutali Siri Oro the new one the styling is absolutely mental the back light some of the lights on back bikes at the minute sorry some of the light back lights on bikes at the minute are absolute works of art the Brutali is the same this bike was so fast that I couldn't get it stopped I thought it was the bike at first but down the back straight we're pulling nearly 180 that's that's sports bike levels of performance really it is a fast bike i was melting the front tire i was missing braking points so there was a quite a large recalibration that had to be made to to understand what the bike wanted to do and then again the ai braking so early for this corner just playing skittles just not not great 
but I thought I'd carry on and lay on the brakes, little bit of a tap on the AI and that pushes offline and we're into the kitty litter again. So, you guessed it, third time lucky again, mental bike, crazy sound, mega fast. <laughs> Things haven't gone bad too badly so far. Yeah, there's been a couple of restarts or there's been an adjustment on the setup. I don't mind that. That's absolutely fine. AI, a little bit prickly. This Mugello race, three laps Mugello on 1000cc Italian sports bikes. I don't have a Panigale V4. I've not won it, so I begrudge buying it and then winning one and using it. So I went with the Aprilia, the 1100, and it was nowhere near fast enough. The V4 Panigale and the 1299 Panigale, just absolute missiles. It didn't matter what I did down the straight, I was just getting annihilated. So it was a, a job where I was pushing mega hard, running too hot into the corners, and the back of the bike stepping out. I made the mistake of putting a soft tyre on again. I don't know why I keep doing it on the 1000cc bikes, the tyre's not strong enough. And watch this down the straight, that's a Panigale in front, 1.5 seconds onto the back of the straight, all the way down, and normally you make a little bit of ground. No, gone, 1.6, 1.635, so he's pulling out two tenths of a second down the straight. I'm trying to go late on the brakes to try and catch him up. I'm too deep, and then it just goes from bad to worse. I end up down in third, we're onto the straight again, and I just think, nah, nah, I'm the cork in the bottle, they're all queuing up behind me. I just need to work out where the limit is, work out what is everything I've done. Because I'm not going to win this, I'll just see it through the end. I didn't, I got to the next corner at the bottom of the straight and just crashed it. So, because I'm stupid, I changed the settings, I went for the harder tyre. And we went again. And this time I'm in the lead by a tenth of a second. I'm still getting annihilated down the straight. But I thought, it's okay, I can do this. I can pull enough back. No, 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 I can't. They're faster, they're braking better. I'm running wise. I'm down in, what now, seventh? Two seconds. I'm never going to make two seconds up. Matter anyway, because I'm going to get off it. So...
So, if you can't beat them, join them. Back out to the menu. What's the fastest bike? Probably the Desmo Sedici. But the Panigales were absolutely running riot. So, went for Panigale, made sure I got the right tyres, and went for it again. The handling differences between the Aprilia and the Ducati caught me out initially. The Ducati doesn't like any engine braking where the Aprilia doesn't mind it. So once I'd worked the settings out and had a couple of goes and worked out what I was doing, we got on top of it. But sometimes you have to do it wrong before you realise how to do it right. Just overriding the bike, it was it was not enjoying it. I wasn't smooth enough. I was asking way too much, way too much of the tyres, way too much of the bike. The AI weren't helping. We've got no concept of personal space, but sometimes you just have to put up with that. And what he was doing off the start, he went one way, so I went the other, and then he would come back the other, and then we ended up getting skittled from behind. So it was just an absolute mess. So what's this? Attempt eight, eight goes. It was a bit. Prickly, it was a bit of a pain in the arse, but we got there.
that's it. Done. Five races, five gold, event complete. We've got the Chirono. And I could not contain my excitement. And I thought, I'll go straight into the into the garage and I'll tune it up. And you can't put any suspension in it, which means you've got one of the best naked bikes ever made. And it's going to be pretty much useless. Because you can't change the suspension. So well done. Mega. Well done ride. Top job. Awesome. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave me a like, a subscribe, a comment, whatever you fancy. Hit the bell of pleasure. And I will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.